The word spiritual, not the word religious, is the key. That's Clarence Clemens. This is Legacy Over Likes. I am Drew. Let's go. I, uh, I, I thought about like different quotes that I could go with uh, for this being the second day of uh, the 30 days of inspirational quotes. And, um, and I know that this specific quote may not necessarily be like a inspirational quote, right? Um, in fact, when I look back and I think about Clarence Clemens at the time, when I watched the documentary on Netflix, Who Do I Think I Am? There were several quotes that I wrote down. They actually, most of them, he was in reference to like what his mom would tell him. And I still have those notes, but I decided to go with this one for a couple of reasons. And, uh, and I'm gonna try my best to keep this video fairly short, but it's gonna be a bit difficult because, um, because I kind of have to explain, I guess, why I picked this quote. Um, when I look at someone like him, right, even though, like, I don't, obviously, I don't know the guy personally, I never met him. Um, you know, all I know from him is, is this documentary that I watched, you know, that he played with Bruce Springsteen. And, um, and that's really all it took for me to see his soul, like his spirit just came through. And, and I remember hearing him say that, like, that, that it was his, that it was, it was, like, it was a spiritual thing and, and not a religious thing. And I think a lot of us, you know, we get caught up in, you know, religion and, and forget about the spiritual aspect. And, and that's why you can see so many people who are very religious, but they're not very spiritual. Uh, there's somebody in my life, you know, we, we, we often talk about like just seeing someone and we'll say, man, that's like, that's a beautiful soul or a beautiful spirit. And it just, it shines through. And I just think that that's so important because regardless of, of your beliefs and, 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 and what you say that you believe in, if your spirit doesn't shine through then what are you really representing? And in fact, you're doing more harm than good if your spirit doesn't line up with that, right? Like I, I put it to you this way, like I, I probably struggle, I beat myself up for it, but, but I want to be, I want to get to a place where people see me and they go, what is it that's different about him? Like you see someone like Clarence Clemens and you're like, what is it that's different about this guy? Like, what is he doing different? Because whatever he's doing, like, that's what I want to do. I want to emulate that. I want to be the type of person that people look at me and they go, you know what? That's what I want to do. And when I'm, you know, full of negativity, when I'm pessimistic, when I'm just, I'm not shining. Why would someone want to emulate that? And I want to be someone that, that others look to and they go, what is it that's different? So then I can share my testimony. So then I can be that light source for someone else. And that's why this 30 days is important for me. It's to kind of hit the reset button and to say, all right, you know what? Let's, let's take a step back here and get in tune with my spirit and who I am. Because that's what really matters. Over time, you know, I'm gonna get old. I'm already getting old. My gosh, I turned 40 this year. It's crazy. But but we're going to get old. Like our, our physical, you know, bodies are, are going to deteriorate. Deteriorate, right? But, but our spirit is going to continue to shine through. And uh, I tell you what, I, 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 I'll just real quick, I'll share this story. I know that I've said it before, but I remember as a kid, going to a nursing home. Now, my grandmother was in a nursing home for a while and I hated it. I hated seeing her there. But I remember seeing her in this nursing home and I remember seeing, seeing, I remember seeing like these, these other people that were there and, and it was clear that you could tell like 
there were some that were extremely happy. They were still full of joy. And that there were others that they just, they were very unhappy people. And, and I remember hearing at the time, and I don't remember who told me this, but it was like, it was like you could just point out the ones who were full of bitterness and resentment. And, and then the ones that were full of gratitude and appreciation. And, and I just think that it's, it's so important when we hold on to like all the, the negative stuff, when we hold on to the bitterness, when we're mad at people, um, we're, we're doing ourselves the harm, right? We're just hurting ourselves. It, 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 it nothing that you're doing is going to affect that person you're mad at. And when you see someone like Clarence Clemens, it's clear that he's not mad at anyone. He he lets things go. You know what I mean? And that's that's what I want to be. That's the kind of person like I want to emulate is someone like Clarence Clemens. So this may not be like an inspirational quote, but that was an inspirational man. And maybe as I go through this uh, 30 days, I will use one of his mother's quotes, which I really loved. Um but I thought that it was fitting that I started it off with this one, uh, especially since I never really did a series on Clarence Clemens. And um, a um, at some point, I, I would like to get into that and just kind of talk more about him. But uh, but I thought at least for sure on day number two, uh, with the number two being a bit special, because um, that's your favorite number, um, I thought that uh, I would use Clarence Clemens today and uh and just kind of talk about his spirit and and that quote so uh that's about all i got i hope everybody out there is doing okay staying positive staying up that's what we got to do during this process all right um the weather is phenomenal here in charlotte today it really is uh i went for a walk today and uh just kind of starting off my my workout routine i guess you could say um and uh trying to kind of get into a, a habit that's another thing i'm going to discuss and i may kind of throw these tidbits into my videos or i may make separate videos i'm not really sure probably just throw them in um but i'm going to start kind of tomorrow with an actual like a legitimate routine um it's funny i talk about like setting up a routine and then someone will ask me like hey so did you uh, start that routine yet and then it's like oh man i didn't so i'm actually going to write down my timed out schedule tomorrow from like waking up in the morning, how I want to approach the day, what I'm going to be doing and, um, and see if that can kind of help me again, this 30 days, it's all about just trying different things, trying to improve, trying to get better, right? That's where I need to get back to. It's just trying to get better every single day. All right. So I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna keep moving forward. I will always trust the process. This is legacy over likes. I am Drew and I am out.